Welcome to a new test and teardown video. This time I think it's going to be my last hammock 8001 mainframe plug-in video because I don't have any more modules or any more of this at the moment. But since I just repaired the mainframe so I know that all the voltages and everything is fine, let's play with the last module. And this one is the Curve Tracer 8042. I'm quite excited about this because I think this one you need to connect these two to um, an oscilloscope in XY mode and then it will display the sweep on your oscilloscope and then you can connect um, some different components. It can be transistors, it can be yeah, all sorts of... Uh, funny components and then it, it will uh, yeah curve trace and sweep them and all that kind of stuff so let's try and see here what is go nothing is going on hello so that's uh, 16 watts so it is definitely using definitely using some power but we see absolutely Nothing going on here. Ah. Let's try and pull the module and then turn on the mainframe. Aha! And that is using 4.7 watts. So something is going on here, but it's not really looking like it's alive. This is getting more and more interesting. This one is very, very complex. Look at that, it's so full of stuff. Yeah, that IC is not completely in the socket. So I'm gonna go through some uh, visual inspections and see whatever I can figure out. We got a microcontroller ADC32 from um, 93. This unit is from 94. And there's, of course, an EEPROM here with an external... I mean, oh, it's impossible to get this into focus. But anyway, that will be the software. And a little bit of support chips and uh, some counters and stuff. This uh, flat cable here from some of the ports on the microcontroller. Obviously handles some input and uh, probably some uh, readout. We probably can find some chips down there to do uh, port expansion and handle display. Just some seven segments. But it looks like it's completely dead. So I want to start and measuring some voltages. Let's uh, see if we can figure out. Maybe I can find some schematics or something like that. So I'm probably going to go and Google a little bit before I just uh, walk around in complete uh, blindness. But I just uh, really like to see what can you do if you have absolutely no documentation or anything. That is a little bit of a an extra challenge, and I kind of like that a little bit. Just the first little minutes, and then I will, of course, go and see if I can find that documentation. But it's a two-layer circuit board, and it's uh, quite uh, beautifully done. I don't see any big black uh, blown ups or anything uh, super nasty. A little uh, extra wire there and just a little diode and such. Not a big deal. So what did happen to this unit and why isn't it not working? Oh, here's a little IC probably driving the seven segments. Yes, it's probably just a BCD to seven segment decoder and some scan uh, selectors and uh, display selectors. So that's a pretty neat way to handle the seven segment display with not that many wires. I find those connectors for the coax cables, are they like falling apart? This, this can't be good. Well, you've got to see this. It is that 
easy and it shows the software version and I think it's is up and running now all I did was to do of course a very nice walk around with everything I pushed all the ICs in I pulled all the connectors in and out and you know moved it a little bit like that massaged every little thing so this one was just full of loose connection so it's working I mean look at that well, how now I just need to figure out how it's working so this will be the different features that I can read out on beep 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 how we're setting up something uh -huh, so that will be the current the voltage the watts so how do we change this from not being off I haven't got a clue damn it I need to go and find a manual What is this off? I mean, what? Ah, ha, hapa, hapa, hapa. And then what? What are you doing? I need to put on some stuff. I mean, I think we're ready to go and play with this thing. But uh, before I can go and play with it, I think I need to look what is wrong with this. They they look like they're falling apart. Those. Uh, and it's just probably just a little bit of epoxy and push everything nicely in together. I'll probably go and measure how well this is connected. And then, well, well, let's go and fix this. So after a little bit more repair here, I epoxied the two little funny connectors here. And uh, I feel they are now now uh, nice and stable. And uh, here is one little uh, BC547. I mean, can it be more boring? So here it is, this little NPN transistor. Got a forward voltage of 0.693. And the DC gain is 284. I don't know exactly at what test current that is the case, but let's just uh, try and remember those uh, figures. So here we go. This is how I connected it. So it says uh, here is, of course, collector base emitter with really nice and um, close or short wires. I have selected NP. Yeah, NPN, so this is out. When Every time you push anything here, it goes to off. So if you click on, it enables the um, device under test. And then you can select the different parameters you want to measure. At the moment, it's measuring the gain. So I don't know if you can remember, it was also 280 something uh, when we tested it on the other little uh, funny tester. And here we can see this is the test current, the maximum test current, the maximum test voltage, and the max t uh, test uh, power, because we don't want to uh, blow up our device. And uh, so now we are in a gain mode, right? And see, here is the different modes for the dial. And let's look at the oscilloscope. So let's try and see if I can get a little bit more nice and stable uh, picture on this. So here is, um, this is the dial and uh, we have selected this uh, feature here. So I don't know if you can see, can you see a tiny little dot that moves right there? So this is the test point and this is the resulting value. So that is a little bit funny. So if we go down to this point here and wait a little bit, there you have it. Then it will update it, uh, the measurement at that point. So we have um, the possibility to change the different features of the knob. So for example, this is the minimum current. 
remember we have a maximum of two milliamps so if we click one more it says max so now we can play with the dial we can dial down okay and then we can change the readout here of the meter with this one so now it is voltage base and so on and so on. so now it is current collector current it says here and it says five six seven microamps at that point okay now we go and click this button down here see that one here that's a little pointer up i don't know how visible that is uh, here on the on the photo i'm so sorry about that if that is not super visible but there's a tiny little dot that moves up and now it is all the way up and it says 976 microamps and i can now go up to maximum again and i can move the maximum current all the way up to almost two uh, milliamps and I, I think this is just the most fantastic curve tracer i have ever seen really it is super super small and nice and compact and of course computer controlled and all that and it's just doing exactly what you want and you can change the different uh, readouts here so this was the gain this was the uh, impedance at between those two points now we have two little cursors here and if we go here now we have uh, two cursors up here and we can also measure between these two points here this is the steepness and this is also called micro siemens so this is the impedance at this current and all those things it's just amazing you can get everything out of your uh, unknown transistor from this device and um, i've been googling a little bit around on this uh, unit here and uh, i found a very very good web page and i will of course put in a uh, link so you can find that and on that link i found a really really cool adapter test adapter to plug into those uh, three terminals um it uh, also got uh, two other little uh, breakout pins for your transistors and a little switch where you can compare two different transistors by just flipping the the switch and this is a very very good and very very useful feature to um to prove if uh, transistors they're good or bad if you want to match transistors or if you want to find something uh, special is uh, going on here so yeah I'm super happy about uh, this curve tracer. That is just the most cool, cool thing ever. So I think this is all I wanted to show you about this uh, curve tracer. So uh, thank you very much for watching this uh, video. And uh, please come back again soon. Bye bye.